I absolutely called it. I knew this was going to happen. John Ram is reportedly in talks and late negotiations with the Live Golf circuit. Now, this is coming from a very credible source, so let's break this story down. This, for me, I didn't want to break this video until I had a credible source say it's happening. And now we are at that point. I just want your first reaction to this. Are you disappointed? Are you surprised? Or are you like, well, the PJ Tour have gone behind all the big stars back, creating this potential league with Live Golf and a tour where PJ Tour and Live Golf and PIF work together. I don't blame them. I would love to get your first initial thoughts, so please do pop them down in the comments. Let's break this story down a little bit further. Masters champion John Ram is understood to be in late negotiations with Live Golf over a move to the Saudi back golf league. Now, we have learned that the Spaniard has had talks with Greg Norman, fronted circuit, but nothing has been yet agreed. Now, it's no surprise, is it really? Over the last two years, John Ram has been closely linked with Live Golf. And I'll be honest, he hasn't been one of those golfers that has been openly critiquing the circuit, like the likes of Rory McIlroy. He has pretty much been sat on the fence the whole time. And his sole criticism of the circuit is the format that they play. When the framework agreement combined the PJ Tour, DP World Tour, and Live Golf into a new for-profit entity were revealed in June, John Ram was critical of the PGA Tour bosses. And he said, Two minutes before the announcement came out, some of the PJ Tour, con someone from the PJ Tour, contacted me and told me everything. I thought it was a joke. This is what they should have done from the beginning. Instead, they generated division and decided to come together again. Now, speculation has got bigger and bigger over the last few weeks because John Ram around about two weeks ago decided to back out of the TGL circuit. And as soon as this happened, I told Josh, I said to Josh, this is because he's joining Live Golf. And he was like, nah, mate, that ain't happening. Well, it seems to be a little bit different. So we look at our time frame so far. He's never been openly critiquing Live Golf Circuit apart from the format. And he did say once, I recall, that he's got enough money. More wouldn't change that. But everyone has a price. And since the PGA Tour announcement to join, he has openly criticized the PGA Tour. Now he has backed out of the TGL, the Monday Night League owned by Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. The well-connected social media account Flushing It has, as of this morning, posted that John Ram is in the late stages of talks with Live Golf. And the holdup is not financial, but it's due to him wishing to modify the format of the league. The two-time major champion has strong relationships with the likes of... Sergio Garcia, as they overcome their differences earlier in the year, and their friendship has struck. Whilst also extremely close to Phil Mickelson, Mickelson's brother and caddy, Tim was Rahm's college coach. So there's a lot of friendship in there. And we all know Rahm is a huge family person, so playing less, earning more money would fit directly into his model. I would also say right now, apart from winning more majors, He's pretty much answered all the critics within the game. Everyone knows how good he is. But is he thinking and does he know something more than we do? In the sense of, does he know that going forward, live golfers are going to be able to play in the majors? This is what I was thinking. Now, with space opening up on Garcia's Fireballs Golf Club, uh, as of Carlos Ortiz anticipated to move to Talk Golf Club, it's been suggested by some that Ram could join his compatriot as a co-owner slash captain of an all-Spanish franchise. It is also possible that should he make the move to live golf, Ram could be given his own team. Speaking to Gary Davidson, then in term COO of Live Golf revealed that the league could probably accommodate another three teams. So this is really, really interesting. We've got it from credible sources that John Ram is in late negotiations and it's not been signed, not because of money, but going back to his old thing that he said about the tour originally, the format. So let's look at this from John Ram's viewpoint. Like if we look at him, he won the Masters 
last year in April. Now, this gives him exemptions for the next five years in all of the majors. So that's nothing he has to worry about. Also, look at this from the PGA Tour. This is going to be a huge headache for them. He played so much of his golf on the PGA Tour, very little on the DP World Tour, only around two events. Now, the other thing that I look at this of, Ryder Cup, where does this leave him? I said this earlier in the video, does this mean he knows something we do not? Does this mean he knows he's going to get in the Ryder Cup some way, shape, or form round, down some route? Like we saw Brooks Kepka, he's a live golfer, he played for Team USA, do they think the rules are going to be relaxed upon the negotiations being struck? So I'm going to say this right now. I am not surprised at this. This is something that I fully anticipated to happen upon, well, the news of the TGL. I'd sort of had it in the back of my mind for a few months now and possibly a year, but the TGL news really struck me hard because why are you not committing to that? only because you're going to put your commitment elsewhere. There's no way he was going to miss out on money. I know he said he doesn't need more money originally or, or something along the lines of that, but everybody's got a price. So you heard it here first. It has been leaked by a very credible source that John Ram is in late negotiations with Live Golf.